it's DJ Case UK and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get sampled loops from any audio using Soundforge or any wave editor so that you can use it in your Acid Pro projects. So if you want to take a loop out of something and use that in your project this tutorial will show you how to do that. I'm going to be using Sony Soundforge which is a sister company to Acid Pro but you can also use any wave editor in order to do it. With that being said let's get into this video. So I've got my Sony Soundforge 10 and to make a loop as with all Sony products you can just drag and drop. So there's a load of tracks here that I've made. I'm going to sample this project here and make a loop out of this project. So I just want to sample uh, the beginning bit. So I click this to go to, to the beginning and I'm just going to play it as it is. So that's the bit I want to sample. So to create a sample then I'm going to select it from the beginning here. So I'm just using the mouse to zoom in and out. And if I press the M button it puts a, a marker at that point there. So I'm just going to play from there. And that's where I want the sample to end. So I'm going to zoom in to here, get it right on the line, put a marker. So now when I double click on this section, it's just going to play this bit on a, on a loop. Uh, you need to press this button at the top uh, to loop it. So it's like a loop playback button. So I just want it to, to loop as it is. So yeah, I'm happy that's, that's a good loop. Obviously, if you don't put it exactly in the right place, like if I put it here, it's not going to loop properly. It's going to sound terrible. You need to make sure it's bang on the in the right place. So yeah, you can see there it, it doesn't work because it's got to be exact. So that's the loop I want. So next, I'm just going to take this bit out. Control C to copy and then Control E. Uh, so now I've I've made this into a into its own little sample. So I've I've basically copied it into a new sample here. Now, when you save your sample, uh, you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Drum Loop. Drum Loop One. Uh, you can put the, the artist if you want, so I'll just put in my artist name, engineer, copyright details. In fact, I'll put my Bandcamp on there because um, if you want sample packs, I've got loads of those on Bandcamp. So that's djcase.bandcamp.com. Uh, so just put that in the, in the copyright. We've also got this other tab down here called Acid Properties. So if you click in here, you can decide what time signature it is. So I can put it as a one shot or a loop or beat mapped. So I'm going to put it as a loop. Time signature is 4-4 four, four, and it just kind of, it just knows that anyway. You don't even have to do anything to get it acidized. Now if I just save this loop then, on, I'll just put it on the, on the desktop, drum loop one. So now when I go into Acid Pro, Mine takes quite a while to load because I've got quite a few plugins um, added onto it. So this just takes a, a bit longer for it to load. Okay, so here's my Acid Pro. So if I just go to my desktop and just drag in the uh, the, the sample 
Acid Pro will automatically put it into a into a, a loop because I've chopped it in the right place. It's it's already ready to go. Now if this happens where it sounds a little bit faster, what you need to do is go into clip properties, click stretch. Now at the minute it's stretching over eight beats, but I actually want it to be spread over twice as many beats because it's at the minute it's going twice as fast so I need to spread it over more beats so twice as many from 8 is 16 and that will now put it into the right the right time signature it's going slow because of the BPM this is this sample is about 174 BPM so I just change the BPM and that will now be spot on so now if I hit save down in the down here in the clip properties it will save the sample exactly as I've changed it so I've changed it to 16 beats instead of 8 so if I hit save it will ask if I want to change it on all versions of Acid Pro, so I just click yes. And now every time I load that sample, it will automatically be 16 beats and, and the acidized information will be saved. So there you go, that's how you can make um, a sample, a loop sample from any audio inside Soundforge and then you can use it inside Acid Pro in your project. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.